Hello and welcome to your King Brick. And I'm sorry this video has been delayed by one day. More explanation will be provided later on. Yes, this is some special glide testing. You can see a nice graphic uh, stating the name of the craft and the crew. That's just the crew in the orbiter, not counting the crew and the Kurnier aircraft. Which is uh, currently taking off. Now you might notice that the uh, pin, that the parallax catcher around uh, the KSC looks pretty different now. That is because, as you probably heard, the parallax uh, continued has released. Now this has caused me some issues, since I believe I probably installed it wrong, as it is extremely laggy at times. You will see more of that later. Yeah, that's part of what contributed to this video being late. Another part of it was uh, just, first of all, planes suck, I still suck at building them. I uh, tried using for aerodynamics uh, research uh, to my advantage, and I mean, it worked out in a different way than usual. But yeah, and also was just busy with general stuff in my life as well. But yes, this video is at least now finally being uploaded. I'm just walking on as uh, we currently are doing the sketchiest takeoff I've probably ever done. We went off the ground at least like two different times there, and then almost immediately crashed. But uh, we seem to be surviving so far. I was kind of surprised that the linear on the shuttle was deployed. Yeah, the uh, shuttle is uh, actually using the uh, stock parts uh, recolored with the uh, textures unlimited. 10 out of 10 mod would highly recommend. A nice, uh, a nice EV IVA uh, from. I don't actually remember which mod, I have to check again. And yeah, the carrier aircraft is from at uh, it's uh, from stock like space, like, what's not this stock like a uh, parts extension, I believe, or something like that. I do not remember the exact name of it, but it's a uh, pretty, it's a pretty good mod. I highly recommend. Yeah, and we're now uh, over oh, circling back around to the Kerbal Space Center runway to align for the glide test. When a, yeah, lag starts. I don't know why, but just flying over this Kerbin, uh, Kerbin uh, forest, it causes a uh, significant lag. Again, I probably, uh, I probably installed a parallax incorrectly. And speaking of incorrectly, oh, well, I'm about to uh, do, uh, this is about to become a compilation of me feeling at flying a space shuttle. Yeah, on the first attempt at the at detaching the shuttle, uh, we made a contact with the tail fins. We lost our right wing as well as the right uh, canard. And the uh, carrier aircraft is now tumbling out of control, and the orbiter is uh, very much unable to fly. You know, I kind of accounted for this. I designed this uh, craft to be a safer an emergency. And so yeah, the cockpit is able to detach from the rest of the orbiter. However, you might have saw that during the detachment, uh, we had lost some parts. One of those being the parachute that's supposed to stabilize the, uh, the cockpit upon the detach. And as you can see, that did not end well. Now, on a different attempt, I uh, pushed up uh, too soon, we lost speed, and we crashed a very high vertical velocity into this grass by the Kerbal Space Center. Now, one of the attempts actually did get somewhat close uh, to landing at the runway. Before a break, before it's breaking its landing gear and the rustic craft during a very hard landing. Now here I wanted just to test out the detector capabilities again. And this time it uh, actually uh, functioned uh, far better, the parachute uh, successfully deployed. And as you'll see pretty soon, once uh, the rest of the orbiter uh, crashes.
that the cockpit actually makes a successful landing, and the crew are safely recovered. Now, I feel like a part of a why I suck so badly at flying this was uh, what you can see here. So I did the initial calculations and uh, flight testing using the craft with fuel. However, without fuel, the flight characteristics are significantly different. So whilst uh, FAR still says it should uh, be uh, it should be stable, I ended up uh, not being able to uh, fly it as you saw. I also didn't uh, fully. Uh, I didn't uh, fully activate uh, the uh, the capabilities of the Alavons. I didn't have uh, their control their control limiters all the way up, which probably contributed to uh, me not being able to fly it. And so yeah, I guess I should say first of all, I'm sorry this video was probably more disappointing than usual. Again, I didn't have time, and I just tried to do something that required far more time than I actually had. I probably should also uh, say something about uh, that as soon as I announced that a New Horizon space race. As you can see, Parallax uh, continued releasing has caused issues for my install that need to be resolved before that can happen. So I do not have a definite release date for my first episode, but uh, I uh, promise that that should, act that should come out first of all sometime soon. Again, TM. Yeah, I really hope uh, this. I really hope I can deliver something that's actually uh, worth watching. And what do you think for watching? Please like and subscribe. And goodbye.